What's up guys, welcome back. I know it's been a super long time, but uh, we're back. And if you've been following along on Instagram at all, you know I've been doing a ton of fishing. Recently I hooked up with one of my good buddies, Sam Sobey. Uh, we did a little bit of a catch and cook and he posted that on his channel, it turned out awesome. It really ended up being more of like a catch and eat kind of episode, but uh, after that episode, um, I had like three or four people DM me kind of like asking me, hey, what, you know, what ingredients did you use or how did you make that? And like, when are you going to make a video on that? When are you going to make a video on that? Well, buckle up because I'm going to make a video on that. All right, so the recipe that I did with Sobe, we did a fried catfish chilaquiles. And uh, I'm going to make that again today, but I'm not going to use catfish. Today, we're going to use either sunfish or bluegill. I just want to show you how easy this really is, and you can really use any fish you want, but I know that we can go and crack some of those today. So I just, uh, I got everything loaded up. I just need one rod real quick. And I'm pretty sure one rod is all it's going to take today. Just one like ultralight setup with a little jig on it. So I'll throw that in the truck and uh, I think that's all we're going to need really. So I'm just going to go to a little local lake right down the road and uh, we'll see if we can bust them. Like I said, probably only need like maybe like six or eight fish. So hopefully we can get out there and just crack them super fast and come back and cook them up. So uh, I'll see you on the water. I think I'm just going to take a GoPro with. So I'll see you on the water in uh, three, two, one. Yeah, it looks like we got it all to ourselves today. All right, we'll just run out here. I mean, it looks super weedy, but we'll find some spots with some hard bottom. And we'll just run out, hopefully grab a few fish and get out of here. All right, come on. All right, we're out here. Time to catch a couple of uh, ingredients here. And uh, let's get moving. Get out here, whack a couple, get them back to the house. All right, I'm gonna start. Looks like there's a little drain right up here, so there's some sand out in front of it. I think that's a good place to start. I'm gonna try to use bluegills or any kind of like panfish, really, like green sunfish, whatever I can get. But I'm just gonna start out with this little grub, just a tiny little jig, and uh, no like live bait or anything. We'll just try to do this as quick as we can. Like I said, you just come out, try to catch a couple fish. See if we can't get a couple keepers. Yeah, fishy. Oh my goodness. Look at the sunfish. <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Look at that thing. That is awesome. Okay, a few more like that and we're looking good. What a stud. Too small. Whoa. There we go. Seems like a keeper. Oh yeah. Nice green. Green sunfish. Check that out. Boom. Oh, 
Whoa. Uh, I don't think that this is a bluegill. It's totally pulling me in this tree. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is a good fish. Okay. Bluegill mission is on pause. What do we got here? Ooh. like a good large moth. <laughs> On this tiny little rod too. <laughs> Look at that. That is sweet. Just choked that little thing. Little lip ring for you. <laughs> cool. Alright, I'm gonna get him back. This is not what I was hoping to eat today, so I'm gonna let him go. Hopefully, we can grab some more bluegill real quick. See ya. Oh, that might do it. Oh yeah, big greeny, big greeny. Yeah. Oh yes. Look at that greeny right there. Boom. Oh, I see all lit up too. Awesome fins on that thing. Look at those. Freaking blaze orange. Awesome. Alright guys, little update. Um, I'm just about to pull off. Check out, we got a freaking sweet strap of nice greenies. Here we go, look at this. <laughs> we got some hogs in there too, so uh, I think I'm going to go load the yak up and go back. We got plenty of fish to make this, so I'm going to go back, hopefully make these up for lunch, and uh, I can't wait, man. Came out and like, I don't know, 25, 30 minutes, just loaded up real quick, right down the road from the house. So gonna load up, head back to the house and uh, see back at the house. It is super important to keep these fish on ice as soon as you can get them in there and transport them that way. So, Woo! that is a strap of greenies right there. Sweet. So, load this thing up, go back to the house, and uh, get filleting. Sweet. All right, we'll get these fish all diced up real quick. I'll just pull them out of this cooler, but we got a pretty good strap of them. Okay, let's get to cutting real quick. Here we go.
quite a bit of meat here. So even though these fish are, you know, not giants or anything, I mean, they are for sunfish, but we're getting pretty nice fillets off of them. So I got a pretty good pile working here. I'm gonna take them in the house, uh, show you what to do with them first thing once you get them filleted off. Let's go. All right, so I got the fish in the kitchen now. And uh, first thing we gotta do, see we got a pretty good pile of fish out of those. I mean, people talk about those sunfish and they're like, oh, they're not that big or whatever. Well. I'd say we got a pretty good pile of meat. So first thing is gonna be dice these up a little bit, put them in this container with a little bit of salt and then into the fridge for like 15, 20 minutes. And uh, that's gonna help just firm up the fillets. So I'll do that, put them in the fridge and then show you how to put the rest of the stuff together. All right, so what makes this chilaquiles dish like go over the top good is one, the fresh fish. Not, I mean, this fish hasn't even been frozen. I literally caught it like 10, 15 minutes ago, filleted it up, it's in the fridge. So that and then frying the tortillas yourself and not using just chips. You could just buy chips, but uh, it's way, way, way better just to do it yourself. So anyway, I'll show you how to do that really quick. Super easy and uh, check this out. Just bought some yellow corn tortillas and just gonna take some out. Kind of depends how many people you're trying to go for but i don't know there's maybe 10 right there and super easy all we're going to do is cut it into eight just like that next most important thing the pan you're going to use i'm using a cast iron here something heavy because you're going to be like batch cooking so anytime you put something in it's going to be cold you take it out it's going to be hot you don't want to lose the heat in your pan so I'm using a cast iron i'm going to put some vegetable oil in here and get those tortillas frying right now Like I said, the rest of this recipe is super easy. Um, you could make your own salsa, uh, salsa verde. I just bought some. Here's the com. Got this stuff right here. It's called Heat. Uh, it's a really good salsa verde. Uh, it's pretty spicy. If you don't like it that hot, I would use something different or just get whatever's at your grocery store. But like I said, I stopped at the farmer's market. They didn't have the ingredients that I wanted for salsa verde, so I just bought some salsa. But anyway, you can do either one, and uh, it's still going to turn out pretty awesome. So any kind of like Hispanic cooking you're doing, you're definitely going to want to use some seasonings. And uh, we're just going to mix up something quick here. I got a mortar and pestle. Uh, if you don't have one of these, you're, you're definitely going to want to get one of these. Whether you're super experienced in the kitchen or you're just starting out, this is going to take your cooking to the next level. And it's awesome for making spice mixes. So the one that I have here, um, it's kind of a bigger flat one. They make them in a couple different shapes. But uh, I got some stuff already mixed up. And... What I'm gonna do is just grind it up in there. And so this is uh, coriander, cumin, black pepper, a little bit of chili flakes, garlic, and onion flakes. So you can really use whatever you want. Like I said, for this one, just don't, you wanna make sure you're using cumin, um, definitely, and coriander. Those two are really gonna help you with this recipe a lot. And they just taste awesome. So once you put it on your fish, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. So anyway, I'm gonna come in here and just grind this up a little bit and uh, we'll add it to the fish coating. So now that I've got that ground pretty much into a powder, um, so you can see all the big seeds and everything are just ground into, into dust. So now I'm just gonna take, I got this, uh, it's just some yellow cornmeal. It's, a, it's already mixed together, so it's a little bit of flour uh, cut into the cornmeal with a little salt and pepper in it. So what I'm gonna do is uh, take some of this and just mix it straight into straight into my mortar and that should be plenty for this one fish but um, you don't have to mix it in here you can do it in something else but like I said we're not doing a ton of ton of fish today uh, you probably want to use like a bigger container um, if you're gonna do like a huge pile or whatever but that should be good we'll just get that mixed up a little bit better and then it's going straight into there we're going to add one egg into there and mix it around that way the breading is going to stick to it that's the egg wash and we'll just go straight into here with it and onto a little platter 
So breading them is super, super easy. All you got to do is take the pieces. Make sure the egg is the most important part of this because otherwise the breading is not going to stick. So definitely take the pieces. Just roll them in here. And we're looking for a light breading. We don't want like a super heavy crusted one. Just a super light coating like that. And we'll just, you can load up a couple of them in there at a time. Roll them around. And they're just about ready. Just about ready for the oil. Oh man, does this smell good though. That seasoning is just ridiculous. Back to just absolutely ripping hot. We'll come back in with the fish and uh, get them fried up and then the last step is going to be the salsa. Here we go. Just come in, get it all out of there, let that oil drain off. And we're getting pretty dang close to the end product here. I'm gonna drain the oil out and then wipe the pan out just to get all the stuff that's starting to burn. A little piece of breading out of there. All that good stuff, just so you kind of got a fresh slate here, because everything that ends up in this pan is going to be in the salsa. All right, so like I was saying, I'm just going to use this uh, this stuff here, this heat salsa. Um, it's pretty good. Uh, other than that, you can use pretty much any. You can use any salsa. I like the salsa verde, especially for fish and chicken. But I'm also going to use this. If you have the ability to get some of this stuff, uh, this is pretty awesome to mix kind of together. This stuff's pretty hot, so. We'll see how it is, but I like it pretty spicy, so we're gonna jack it up with both. So for this, I'm gonna use kind of not that much, just because I'm not making a huge batch. And that's what we want. We want to bring it to a boil right away, so we'll get the salsa, and then I'm also gonna add um, that other salsa. To so we got both of them, uh, kind of mixing, mixing the heat together and everything, and then. As soon as you get the salsa in there, you want to cut it with like maybe a quarter cup of chicken stock. And that's just going to loosen that salsa up, make it more of a sauce, and make it the chips can like absorb it then. While that's reducing down, I'm just going to chop up a little bit of green onion and some cilantro. Uh, that's pretty much just a garnish to go on there, but we'll do that. And uh, from there, it's pretty much just putting it together on the plate. That cilantro, you just want to run a knife through it just roughly, just to kind of break it up a little bit. All right, so now that this is starting to thicken up nicely, what we're going to do is come back in, add the chips into here. And then plating it up is super easy. All we gotta do is put the chips in here and the fish and uh, you'll see how it looks in a second. And then the last thing you'll wanna do to kinda go right on top of these is just a fried egg. Has to be runny on this recipe. And that is just gonna set this thing off. So then I'll just come in with some green onion, some cilantro. And then I like to just add a little bit of queso fresco right on the top. And that egg yolk is just so rich, so once you pop that, it runs down. That, that is when you know that you did it right, right there. All right guys, there it is. Uh, let me know what you think. I don't know, I'm just gonna dig into it because I can't look at it anymore. Oh, dude. That's just ridiculous. And it is spicy. Like, really good, hot, spicy. Awesome. So hey, if you guys dig uh, like these kind of catching cooks, subscribe or leave me a comment. Um, and I'm gonna try to start doing some more of these. So that one, uh, I highly recommend making. So yeah, I mean, super easy to make chilaquiles. It looks like something that is on pretty much every Mexican menu, but highly recommend it. And uh, try it with fish or chicken or anything really. But fried fish really puts it over the top. So uh, until next time, thanks for watching and uh, hope you keep eating good.